What is the circumference of the circle above with center O? Well, we know quite a bit about this diagram already because triangle OXZ, both of its legs are congruent, they're radii. And so what this means is that triangle OXZ is a 45, 45, 90 triangle, also known as a right isosceles triangle. So that's a rather special triangle. And we know that the ratio of the sides in that triangle has to be 1, 1, radical 2. So special triangles are a very important topic. If special triangles are something that's unfamiliar to you, I highly recommend check out magoosh.com. Magoosh.com is a test prep agency online that has math videos about couple hundred math videos to help prepare you for the GMAT, also a couple hundred on the verbal side, including everything you'd need to know about the special triangles. They are very important and they show up frequently on the GMAT. So moving on to the statements. We know statement number one, the perimeter of the triangle is 20 plus 10 radical 2. Well, what that tells us right away is in that triangle would have to be have sides of 10 and 10 and 10 root 2, which means that the radius is 10, which means we could figure out the circumference. So this statement is sufficient. Now forget about that statement. Statement number two tells us the length of the arc, the arc x, y, z. That arc has a length of 5 pi. Well, that arc is a quarter of the circle, so all the way around the circle would have to be 20 pi. 20 pi would be the circumference. So that statement is also sufficient. Statement number one is sufficient. Statement number two is sufficient. Answer choice D.